In time, four more bodies have been retrieved from the massive River Arthi off the Aldonio Sabuk Bridge in the past two weeks, bringing the total number of bodies retrieved from the same spot since the 1st of January this year to eight. The bodies exhibit signs of torture before death, stashed in sacks with others wrapped in clothing. The increasing cases of bodies being discovered sending shockwaves in the Machakos County Township. Our very own Hassan Mugambi is back from Aldonio Sabuk, and he brings us this report. Wednesday morning and police are combing through what has now been termed the bridge of death in what has become routine procedure. A contingent of police officers are permanently deployed here to engage in search and recovery of bodies following the latest turn of events. In just two weeks, four bodies of people believed to have been killed elsewhere were dumped off this bridge to flow downstream. Area OCPD Jacob Sang saying the two retrieved just yesterday exhibited signs of torture before death. Mwili ya kwanza ilikuwa imewekwa kwa gunia na ikafungwa vizuri. Ya pili ikafungwa na leso. Leso we unaelewa leso ile ya kina mama. The two bodies which City Mortuary has since described as people of Somali origin owing to the texture of their hair, were big-bodied men who had stab wounds and possible blunt object blows to the back of their heads. Last week, Monday, two other bodies were found floating just meters away from this bridge. <laughs> Dismas Wambua, a fisherman, is more often than not the first person to discover the bodies. He says the murderers are ruthless. <laughs> The level of decomposition pointing to a possibility of the men having been killed roughly a week before discovery. The intention of the killers, according to police, is to have the bodies flow all the way to the 14 falls. But that never happens. It is at this point just before the rocky area that leads you to the 14 falls uh, that uh, the latest discovery of bodies was made on Tuesday and Sunday of this week. And it is the same spot that the bodies of lawyer Willie Kimani, his client and a taxi driver were found back in 2017. And the 14 falls, it is not business as usual for youth who have been making ends meet as tour guides. The group is a worried lot. But light is not the only thing that this bridge that separates Kiambu and Machakos counties need. Lack of guardrails here seem to be making work easy for criminals to dump bodies. Na kifika tu kwa bridge ni kutoa ni kutoa mzigo na kuachilia yeye na kuendelea na safari yake. Out of the eight recovered bodies since January, only two have been identified. Julius Maingi Sa, a 56-year-old man who was reported missing on the 6th of February at his Embakasi home, and George Omondi, a 35-year-old whose body was retrieved on the 10th of this month. The other two bodies retrieved are yet to be identified. With some suspects of murder whose victims have ended up here already in custody and undergoing trial, it pops the lead to a possibility of a racket of murderers operating in the same fashion or a case of copycat murderers employing the monkey see, monkey do tactic. Hassan Mugambi, Citizen TV, at the Oldonio Sabuk Bridge at the border of Machakos and Kiambu counties.